recording started. Um, all right, I'll do a little clap. Three, two, one. There we go. Let's see here. Um, <clears throat> I guess I can do this one. Yeah, sure. Let's see here. Where should I start? Uh... Am I going to call you Petty Officer Marco all night? He straddled the bar stool. He had been leaning over and spoke in a low, slow purr. You can call me whatever you want, as long as you call me it all night long. Tabby threw her head back to the ceiling, and her laugh burst out louder than she had expected. He's picked a real piece of work this time. She brought the Jack and Coke to her lips, her chest still softly shaking with silent chuckles. She used the movement to shield her first check-in with Sean. He wore a wry smile and knit eyebrows. He was enjoying the show. He loved watching as she drew them in. Knowing that no man ever resisted his wife, it excited him, seeing it play out in front of him. As he had told her, as he had told her that she may find the target's, let's say, suavity with the ladies entertaining, Sean's NCOs had pro Sean's NCOs had provided him with ample example of the young sailor's locker talk and pickup lines. But, looking around the room, maybe that sort of line did work, at least tonight, in this bar, with these ladies. Across the room, a young sailor leaned into a woman's ear and slid his hand off her hip, down around the curve of her ass. The woman, a ring sparkling on her finger, licked her lips and touched the skin on his bare neck, grazing his Adam's apple. This whole bar was full of women escaping boredom, looking to bed the wildest stallion they could find. Tabby settled an elbow back onto the bar and used a knuckle to wipe the forming tear from the corner of her eye. You, sir, need to work on your technique. I'd say that's enough. Yep. And it's the end of it anyways. All right. That wasn't what I expected based on the uh, description. Whatever. Whatever. Scandalous bedtime stories. Young adult, seductive, urban. Hmm. I guess there'll be another one for you. Sure. Because I don't feel like doing urban. All right. Yeah, I'll do it. <clears throat> I got those urban vibes. All right, here we go. Pass due rent. Chino. As I laid across the bed on my stomach, Chino pulled me to the end by my legs. I was shocked, and I said, Oh, so it's like that. With passion in his eyes, he responded, There's no need for us to waste any time. Me and Chino were only seeing each other for a month now. We were getting to know each other, there, so there was lots of deep conversations and plenty of good sex. Actually, that night I was just shopping by. Actually, that night I was just stopping by to say hello. I had just come from dinner with one of my friends. That quick pit stop turned into a hot and steamy love session. I had on this cute body. Con. Okay. I had on this cute body con dress that hugged my. 36, 28, 38 body. I love these types of dresses, especially for this reason. 
I called them. Oh. I called them my prepare to be fucked dresses. I have a nice amount of them in my closet. Chino got to me. Chino got me to the edge of the bed, and it wasn't long before he entered me from behind. No panties, just the way I like it, he whispered. My pussy was already soaked and wet from just his soft hands touching me. With that first stroke, I let out a deep moan and prepared my body to be ravished, satisfied. All right, that's enough. Yeah. So satisfying. Oh, yes. I guess that's it. Uh, let's see here. Let's do blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I guess so. Bam. All right. That'll do it, guys. Yep. We ate through all of the pussies and dicks. We ravished them. Yes. Okay. Just remember, we're more sensual than you guys. <laughs>